I got these AXP 90 X47 slash X53 brackets, fan brackets printed, like 3D printed from thingverse.com. This guy has designed these and you can download them for free. And I managed to source a 3D printer person on Facebook Marketplace. So these two brackets cost me $17. And what this allows you to do is actually convert the 92 millimeter AXP90 to a 120 millimeter fan. Now, the reason why I did this is I wanted to have better, I guess, air going to the cooler, but I also wanted to utilize the fan situation because in terms of like 92 millimeter fans, you, you don't really get much of a choice. But most importantly, I figured with a 120 millimeter fan, I could get more air onto that cooler. I read on Reddit that people that have converted their 92 millimeter fans to 120 millimeters, those who have changed the fans out from 92 to 120 millimeters have experienced two to three degrees better performance. So we'll see. Anyway, I printed out two brackets one was sort of facing the ram and the other bracket orientation was facing the i would say back of the case so here i'm just planning it out and selecting which bracket would be the best orientation and i figured it clearly is the fan facing the back of the case i've got a lot more space as you can see if i had the orientation facing the front of the case it would actually make contact with the pico psu and make contact with the front fan so easy decision here i'll stick with the back orientated bracket next process was to remove the fan itself and so i had to remove the 2.5 millimeter pico psu power plug and that was fairly simple, just remove the pins and just do another check of the 3D printed bracket just to make sure it will actually fit into place. So I managed to actually click that into place and then I could see how it would look in the case without the fan. So really a lot of this was just guesstimation here, I didn't do any solid measurements or anything like that. Part of me was just hoping that it would actually just fit in. And by the looks of things, there is plenty of real estate here for a 120 millimeter fan. The question was, is if it would actually stick out the side of the, the case and if I could actually fit the panel on. Now, I could already see that obviously I wanted to try the other orientation. So I would put that in place and as you can see, it really did not work that way. It made contact with the front fan and made contact with the Pico PSU PCB. So that was not an option. Easy choice. The next step was screwing the fan onto the bracket, the 120 millimeter fan, as you can see. I had these Arctic P12 fans lying around and they're actually super silent and fantastic in terms of air pressure and they are PWM as well. So I plugged the cable into the CPU plug and now I am just orientating that fan into place. So the way that this 3D printed bracket is designed is that it's got these little clips on it. So all you need to do is sort of push down on the cooler and the clips will clip onto the end of each mounting point as to where the clips are normally held in. Hard to explain to be honest. Anyway, I was uh, gently orientating it in and then I just gave it a little bit of a push in, lining it up and I just pushed down ever so gently and it actually clicked into place. And once that clicked into place, it was not going anywhere. It was rock solid. And I was actually so surprised and really happy as to how that fitted in. I couldn't believe how easy it was to get this 3D printed from thingverse.com and to actually mounting it on 
It's a huge win for me. And just looking at the fan, it just looks so awesome and a lot better than that bright orange fan. So with that in place, it was back to deciding on the cable management side of things. And I did realize that the space where you actually put the power plug for the Pico PSU is now occupied by the new fan. So I had to reorientate that to this top hole here. And I actually had to drill a new hole at the top there to make it slightly larger. And I managed to squeeze in that Pico PSU plug at the top there. And I managed to get a little screw on the end of that and that was secured into place. And this is me just clicking the power button on and booting it. And I am happy to say that it did boot into the BIOS and into OS as well. So a fantastic result. Here is a previous temperature, 84 degrees Celsius max. With the new 120 millimeter fan installed, Cinebench running, the result now is... 80 degrees Celsius at 132.05 watts. Negative 4 degrees.